Look who it is. It's the big hungry demon bear. Hi, pal. Guess what we have? We've got the spear. Yeah, <sighs> you know that one. Not feeling so cocky now, huh? He knows we got it. He knows we got it, Will. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the long dark. We're picking up where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We are inside the maintenance yard shed where the forge is, which is uh, nice and hot and toasty right now. I dumped in a bunch of firewood and some coal, and it's going to burn for 10 hours and 39 minutes. And we're going to sleep through the night. It is, um, it is night right now, and I'm thinking maybe getting 9 hours of sleep. And we'll get a nice early start. Now that we have our spear, we can head back to Jeremiah. And it's a long way back. We've got to cross the Broken Railroad. And then we've got to go all the way through uh, the Forlorn Muskeg. And then back to his place through the um, Mystery Lake. So, yeah, it's a long way. Uh, we're going to get a nice early start. Hope we can do it in a single episode and bring the spear back to him. And then he'll tell us what we need to do. <laughs> So let's go ahead and get nine hours of sleep. I want that fire to be burning tomorrow so that we can um, cook up some tea before we head out. It would be nice and warm in case it's super cold. And that's why I have the bedroll right here next to the flame. So, all right, let's do it. Good night. Ooh. Ooh, how do I wait? Wait, what was that? I think we missed the Aurora Borealis. I heard sizzling or electricity or something. Did you hear that? Sparks. I think we slept right through the Aurora. Dang it. Not that it matters, does it? We don't really need an Aurora. And it's still really dark out, isn't it? <laughs> um, well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and cook up some tea. What, what can we cook down here? Um, do we have any tea? Let's do that one right there. We'll get some tea boiling up. And we're going to eat something. How about some condensed milk? Yeah, that fills the belly with food and also hydrates. And we'll... Oh, we got a can out of that, which we don't want. Let's just drop the can. We don't need it. It's just too heavy. And we're too close to the uh, maximum capacity here. All right, let's go ahead and drink our cup of herbal tea. Drink it up. That'll give us a warming up benefit and hydrate a little and grab that pot. And we should still be underweight, just barely. But now with the bed roll, we... Now we're heavy. <laughs> Dang it. I had a feeling that was going to happen. Let's go ahead and drink... Uh, we'll drink a soda. I did pare down the pack quite a bit but we're still just a tad heavy. All right, well, let's drop... Uh, what could we drop? Tinder plugs, maybe. We're carrying a lot of heavy stuff. That spear alone is about eight pounds. The rifle's eight pounds. Let's drop some... You know what? We can drop peanut butter. That's a whole pound. Okay, now I think we're ready. It's still dark out. I can't see a darn thing. But I can feel my way to the door. Oh, you know what? I have to grab the, um... Oh, man. Hold on. I'm not... We're not ready. I gotta grab the, uh... The pelts, too. Shoot. Did I pick those up? I did not. Too heavy. I know. It's very heavy. Well, I guess there's nothing that can be done for it. We're just gonna have to deal. Alright. Let's go. Oh, I missed some guts. Yeah, I wanna bring those back because I, I wanna use them to make... The, uh, the better coats and hats and all that stuff. Okay, I think this is the way out. It says exit. Let's get that rifle out. And out we go. Yep. Still a little bit dark and cold. But the sun should be coming up soon and it might warm the place up. Warm the whole place up. All of Canada. <laughs> All right, so it's a long trek. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to record because much of this terrain we've already seen at least once. And it's going to be like backtracking and seeing the same stuff again. So I'm most likely going to do this journey alone. 
But if something awesome happens, or if we encounter something nasty, you'll be the first to know. I will flip the camera on and record the whole thing. And you guys will get to experience it all with me. So, well, first though, I'm not gonna... Let's just go see if, um... I wanna see if Methuselah is still here. Yeah, we, we can't sprint. We're still, we're still too heavy to do much sprinting. And that could be an issue. Because we have such a long way to go. I don't see Methuselah's fire over here. There's no glow or smoke. So it looks like he packed up and moved along. Wasn't he right here? Yes. I don't know where he went, but he's not here. All right. Well, let's get back on the track. As they say, back on the tracks. And yeah, we're going to have to go around this right here. So the bear, didn't the bear push us off? The tracks? I'm not sure exactly where that was. We were in some kind of a train car and he pushed us over the side of a cliff. Oh, is this it right here? Can I even get over? Oh yeah, climb up here. Yeah, okay. And then back down again. Can I get down this way? Oh, 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 oh. Ah! Oh no, I can't jump. <laughs> no. Do not say we're stuck. All right. Wasn't that the car we were in? Well, it seems like it's in the same position as it was before. But now we gotta get up here and back on the road. Can we squeeze through here? Yeah. Alright, tis all good. Here's the engine. So the temperature is a little cold actually right now, so we are losing body heat to the cold outside. But our nice warm tea is staving it off somewhat. So hopefully when that sun comes up and it's already on the rise there, that temp will level off, and balance out, and we won't be losing temp uh, heat anymore. I don't know. It remains to be seen. Do I hear growling? No. Okay. I'm going to be quiet now so I can listen. Uh-oh, there goes our warming up benefit. I was hoping that would last a little bit longer. What is following us? <laughs> it's four-legged, but it doesn't... It doesn't bite. Shouldn't bite us. All right, I'm going to cut out here. I'll see you guys soon. Maybe we can make it to the uh, end of the line without any troubles. We shall see. All right, hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, back. I didn't get far. We're at the landslide now. I was able to go up and over this landslide before, but I don't know if that was supposed to happen. It seemed like a lot of you guys in the comments had mentioned that you weren't able to do that. And I got lucky. <laughs> but I don't think so. It doesn't seem that hard. Just got to find the right spot, you know what I mean? There we go, right around. Yeah, because otherwise we'd have to go all the way down there to that valley and cut back up again. It would take way too long. Super duper easy. Look at that, huh? That's right, we're a professional after all. <laughs> no problemo. Okay, now it's a straight shot to the tunnel and on to the forlorn muskeg. It's too bad we don't really get to explore much here. I'm not even sure there's much to see. But, I mean, it's a big map. All this up here we haven't really seen, have we? Oh, actually, we did go up there and get a cache. But, well, I don't know. Maybe we'll come back. Maybe we'll come back and visit when times are better. Yeah. And Granny, too. We'll stop in and see Granny. When all this ends. And we're, the world goes back to normal, right? It's going to happen. It's going to happen sooner or later. And I wonder what's going to happen after this redux. Like... We did all this winter mute, this first couple of chapters before we get past the... Well, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> I don't want to spoil it. This might be the first experience for some of you, so we'll just continue on and play. But, um, yeah, the, 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 the point is the whole story has not been told yet. It hasn't been implemented. And this will end at some point, and we're going to be like, okay, now we have to wait for Hinterland to finish 
the rest of the story, which I'm, I'm hoping they've been working on all this time, along, uh, along with the Redux, so... I don't know. Just speculating. All right, there's our tunnel. Fantastic. No troubles at all here. But we still have a long way to go. Anything can happen. All right, here we go. Leave Broken Railroad Region. Yes. Ah, the good old muskeg. How I've not missed you. <laughs> but at least it's sunny. And, well, it's cold, though. It is still cold. But we have a car here we can climb into... Where the heck is it at? Right here, the poacher's camp. Maybe we can get a fire going there if need be. Hopefully I left some firewood and stuff there. I don't remember. We could just burn a bunch of sticks. Oh, hello! A welcome! This is our welcoming committee here. Oh, jeez. Man, you know, let them get too close there. All right. One wolfie down. Do we need anything out of this feller? Probably not, but let's grab some meat. We could, 12 minutes, we can do that. The hide, we don't really need. I've got plenty of hides, I think. Let's just get some meats. 12 minutes with the metal shard, and we can cook that up. It's not a lot of calories, but we haven't had any fresh meat in a while. So I feel like this might be a good opportunity. Just 12 minutes, and look at that. Now the sun is fully up, almost. Looks so beautiful. Just wish it was a little warmer. We've got a carcass or something over here. Oh, wait, is there a cache? There's no cache here. What's that up there? Aurora hatch. Oh, there's the hatch. A hidden bunker. We have the code to get in. Oh, my gosh. Wind is flowing. Flowing, blowing, blowing, and flowing hard here. Oh, that's what we needed right there. Oh, wind is kicking up. We gotta get to that car. Funny how the wind is kicking up, but it's actually now not as cold. Oh, because I was in I was in shelter over here. Alright, let's get back to the shelter. Is this sheltered? Yes, yeah, slightly. The wind must be coming from that direction. What was that? Uh nothing. Thought I heard a growl. Okay. I think we can make it to this car, get a fire going, warm up, have some tea, and then make the, the rest of this journey back to Jeremiah's. Deal with the demon bear, and then we'll go check out that Aurora hatch, because that seems like it would be awesome. But we can drop some of these skins, etc., at Jerry's. Although, I, apparently we're going to get kicked out of Jerry's, so maybe we'll turn that bunker into our new home. I mean, this is really not a very good place to live. <laughs> I'm sure the property value here is very low and cheap, and it's all about location. Looks like I survived another night. You did. I was talking. Can I finish? Are you done? Um, yeah, I'm sure the property value here is really low, and we're not going to be able to get what we bought it for when we go to sell. But, uh, you know, I bet that bunker's pretty sweet for an apocalypse. <laughs> all right, there's the car. Right up ahead, Will. Okay, Will, what were you saying again? Oh. A wolf. It's coming right at us. Got him. I saw the blood. Didn't kill him, though. It wasn't a very good clean kill. A clean shot. Definitely not a clean kill. That's why he ran away. He might come back. He's gonna think about it. That's gotta hurt. What are you doing? I don't think he's coming back for anymore. He's had enough. I just, I just don't trust him. Especially behind us. He's just running circles around us, isn't he? He, he could very well bleed out. Oh, gosh, get off that. I think that's a thing in Long Dark, is bleeding out. Oh, he may be coming back. Now, I think he's just still running kind of randomly. But we're going to finish him off anyway, because I feel like we should. We've got plenty of ammo. Uh, we have two pounds of meat, right? That's not a lot of calories in that. feel like we should cook up some more. 12 minutes. Let's do it. We're going to have a nice meal. Sorry, Will. <laughs> What's the matter, Will? Cat's got your tongue now, huh? Reload. Let's keep that magazine topped off, baby. All right, let's, let's sprint a little here. Because it's cold. And we got to get to that car. 
What time of day is it? It's still morning. It seems like it's maybe like 10 o'clock in the morning-ish. We could definitely make it back to Jerry's after we warm up. It doesn't take long to warm up either by a fire. Like literally a half an hour. Even if that. One quick fire. We'll cook up some meat. Eat and drink. And then be on our merry way. Our merry way. Just another walk in the park. That's all. Lovely day. Alright, wind is picking up, so Will is running now. Oh, did we shoot that wolf? I think we shot that wolf, didn't we? While he was eating. I think we did. Yeah, because we had to cull wolves here in the muskeg, and we had met that condition. I think the last culling we need to do is at in Mystery Lake region. Oh man, Will, you gotta work out more, buddy. You gotta do some more running. I understand you're carrying like a 90 pounds. <laughs> but uh, that's beside the point. I'm gonna get this guy to the gym. Almost there. Almost there, Will. We're gonna get you all warmed up. All right, let's have a look around here. Bunch of wood. I don't think we're gonna need any of this wood. I think three is enough. Probably one's enough. What is this here? Did we not come over to this side? Oh, tomato soup. We can cook that up too if we're still hungry. And coal. Yeah, we don't really need all this, but I'm going to grab it. Okay, where is the poacher's car? I think it's on the other side. Hang on there, Will, buddy. We're almost there. You should be perfectly fine in a moment or two. Is this the one? Uh-oh. Where's the poacher? Right here. It's one of these. Isn't it? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Whew. For a second there, I thought maybe we were at the wrong place. <laughs> Alright, Will. Put that gun down. I don't want anybody to get shot accidentally. And let's get this fire going. Now, this is the time to use an accelerant. We've got plenty of it. 100%. Let's do it. Not taking any chances right now. And throw some fuel on there. See the firewood, and that's going to give us plenty of hours to do what we need to do. And that is warm up and cook. Let's cook up some of this raw meat. And put it right on the uh, on the grill. Easy peasy. It's going to take an hour to cook. Really? On a grill like that, an hour? Oh, man. I wasn't planning on staying an hour. I guess if we want to have those wolf sticks, that's what we're going to do. So let's just hunker down. And we're going to grab that paper and make a new plug. Because I think we're down to one plug. We're going to need more than one plug. Oh, there's something in here. What did we leave behind? Holy cow! Clothing, coal, bedroll, and wood. <laughs> yeah, we really don't need it. In fact, I'm probably going to dump some of this stuff out in there. Got the music kicking in. And we're almost back to 100% warm. Can we get a pot on here too? No. I wanted to cook up some tea, but we're going to have to wait till the meat is done. So, is there any repair work or anything we can do while we have this time? I know I can speed through time, but it just makes more sense to use this time doing repair work, etc. Clothing looks good. Nothing needs to be repaired. I did repair the flashlight at the shed. We can repair a can opener, but I'm not sure it's even worth it. The rifle could use a cleaning. Yeah, let's clean the rifle. Let's get it back up to 100. That way it fires without fail. 100%. Fantastic. Whew. Listen to that wind. It sounds super cold. Let's just take a walk out here and see. Not super cold, but still cold. Cold enough that we'll be, our temperature will be dropping. Body temp. Let's go ahead and pass the time and cook up this meat. And we will... I need to drop something. Take that one and we'll eat this one. Fresh wolf meat cooked up on the grill. Doesn't get any better than that. And now let's cook up... Um, we wanted to do tea, so let's select that. Some more herbal tea. 
take a few minutes. And let's grab... Uh, these really didn't cure. <laughs> They're only there for a couple of minutes, but worth a shot. All right, let's just finish that up. I want to get rolling. Drink it. Sounds like the, the wind actually died down. I can hear myself think again. Oh, no, no, no. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Okay, look at that. Perfect Might timing. Have to drop some gear. We will. We will, Will, when we get to Jeremiah's. If it doesn't kick us out, there it is. So, yeah, we're 83 heavy, 83 pounds. We're still a little heavy, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine, if you ask me. All right. Out we go. Both ways. Let's boogie. Still got plenty of daylight. Plenty of daylight. It's not even noon yet. And temperatures are fine. It could be the tea. It's keeping us warm, staving off that cold, but I don't know. Just feels like a nice warm day. Some snowflakes coming down. It's just kind of purdy right now, isn't it? I hear a lot of howls. That's more than one howl. Just got to get through this muskeg, get on to uh, Mystery Lake and to Jerry's. Hand in this spear, man. And they'll come back for that bunker. I really want to do that bunker. Like I said, I think we're going to get kicked out of Jerry's. Because our time with him will come to an end when we finish off this bear. And then we'll have to find a new place to live. There's a wolfie right there. I don't think he spots us. He's kind of far. I mean, we have 49 rounds of ammo, but I still feel like we could use more. <laughs> You can never have enough bulletses in any sort of apocalypse. There's no rush. We've got plenty of time to get to Jerry's. Wait, is the sun going down or is it still going up? Oh, dear. Maybe it's going down. Well, either way, we still have time, I think. As long as we don't have to take any weird detours, we should be okay. All right. Tunnel entrance. What's up, buddy? Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> Look who it is! It's the big hungry demon bear. Hi, pal. Guess what we have? We've got the spear. Yeah, <sighs> you know that one. Not feeling so cocky now, huh? He knows we got it. He knows we got it, Will. And all it took was for me to go full-on Grizzly Adams. Yeah. You tell him, Grizzly Adams. I better Adams. get out of here before he comes back. <laughs> that was so weird. I did not know that was going to happen. I was literally just like, all right, let's start recording again right here. Walk through the tunnel, get to the other side, and get to Jerry's. <laughs> that was some pretty funny timing there. All right, get that gun back out, dude. Yeah, so the bears, we're being followed, but he's not hes not uh, so confident right now. He knows we have the spear. So he's hanging back, waiting for the right opportunity to attack, which I have a feeling is going to come pretty soon. <laughs> so be on your toes. Here we go. Let's leave the muskeg. Aha! Gotcha! There's nothing here. Alright. Great. False alarm. And okay, now we just gotta boogie to Jerry's. Still nice and toasty warm. Ooh, there's a wolf heading this way. I think I'm gonna run just a little bit. Keep some distance between him, him, him and us. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Okay, just a hop, skip, and a jump away here, Will. Hopefully that bear did not follow us through the tunnel. Bears like tunnels? I don't think so, but I guess he can go over. <laughs> I don't know. Let's go. I don't know if this is going to happen before we see Jerry or after. I'm curious. You know what? We could use some of that. Oh, boy. There goes the warming up. But we're fine. We're good. Like I said... The sun's shining right now. Temperatures have leveled off. And we better have a drink. Getting a little thirsty here. Man, that soda did absolutely nothing. How about another one? One soda is never enough. Right, Will? There we go. It's funny how some sodas hydrate more than others. <laughs> based on the condition. So that's weird. Maybe they just have less... Um, inside, maybe the can had a leak in it or something. Alright, we're being followed. We are being followed. Now, whatever happened to our rabbit snare? I'm not even sure. Did I put it? Oh, I put it out behind Jerry's house, right? Yeah, we can check that out when we get there. 
Man, we're so close to the finish line. We're gonna sprint. We're gonna run this one out. There's Jerry's place right there. See a couple of deer along the way, and those bunny wabbits. Little bunny wabbits, so close to Jerry's. Living near the trapper. Seems a little risky, if you ask me. But what do I know? I'm not a deer. I don't see smoke in the wood stove um, pipe, but. Well, watch out! Sheesh, nearly ran us down. What are you running from, anyway? I think he's running from us. Okay, good idea. Oh, there are bunnies back there, because I wasn't sure when we put that snare out there. I didn't see any bunnies, but maybe we'll have one in our old snare. Where did I put it? Is that it right there? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's go inside. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> in we go. Hey, Jerry. Did you find it? Yeah. The legend might be bunk, but the spear is real. Maybe the legend is also real. Let's hope so, for your sake. Yeah, the bear is definitely tracking me. You have any luck with the radio? I did. Did you see the lights in the night sky, the aurora? Well, when that flared up, the radio came to life. Just lit up, started spitting out noise, but it was all gibberish. Bits and pieces of things. Music, talking. I think it needs more range, a more powerful signal. If we could find a way to boost the signal strength when the aurora is active, we might be able to get a message out. Well, let me guess. You have an idea. <laughs> You're starting to get it, Mackenzie. I was digging through some old geological survey maps. Those look like military insignia stamped on there. Focus, Mackenzie! Now, this survey shows a series of radio transponder towers that cross back and forth across Great Bear. Now, why would those be there? Good question. But for another time, we can use these. How? Each tower has some electronics that'd serve like a signal booster to make sure the message gets to the next relay. Okay. Well, you get me two, maybe three of those. I might just be able to rig us up our own signal booster. You might, huh? And I guess I need to do this while old Bear decides if I'm gonna become the next chapter in his legend? Don't be silly. Spence's Bear would be long gone by now. That was 150 years ago. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe he has, I don't know, genetic memory. Ridiculous idea. But there's definitely a bear out there. And he's definitely interested in you. You'll just have to take your chances. Says the guy safely inside the wooden cabin. Damn it! You think I want to be in here? I need to get a message out, and this might be the only way. What message? What does this have to do with me contacting my friend? There's more at stake than you and your friend! Please, Mackenzie. Get me those boosters. I'll fix the radio and the first call we'll make will be to Perseverance Mills. I promise. Okay. I'm on it. I'll be back with the transponder parts. Watch your back, Mackenzie. What do I have to worry about? I have a legendary 150-year-old demon bear hungry for my blood. Bullets don't stop him, but I'm armed with basically a medieval weapon, which I'm sure will do the trick. I'm stuck in this winter wasteland where lights in the sky make the power flicker and electronics explode, and the only people I seem to meet are all slightly crazy. And this is all after I crashed my plane deep in the wilderness and somehow lost my ex-wife along the way, and I'd really kind of like to find her back. <laughs> and don't forget about the wolves. <laughs> Let's get on with it. <laughs> Just another walk in the park for us survivors, my friend. Signal to noise, yeah. All right, so we have to retrieve a transponder part from each tower in the Forlorn Muskeg. Oh, good. Good, because I wanted to go back to the Forlorn Muskeg. There's a bunker there, Jerry, and I have the code to get in. 
But before we do that, we're going to hunker down right here, warm up, go through the pack. And is my stuff still here? Yes, it's all still here. Okay, good. So Jerry is not going to kick us out just yet. We have we have more work to do here for Jerry and ourselves. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get organized and we will reconvene here in the next episode. I got to leave a little space for my bedroll. Jerry does not share his bed with us, which is fine by me. He's a little smelly. Hasn't showered in a while. All right, let's get those fellers down there, and we got some guts and stuff. I hope you don't mind, Jerry. We're dropping some guts and stuff. That one's already cured. Pretty cool stuff. We're going to see what we can make, too, um, with these pelts and everything. We, we have more pelts over at the office, camp office, too. I, I may go fetch those eventually. And in the meantime, yeah, I'm going to get organized and get ready for the next episode. And we're going to go out and uh, find these... Ooh, gunshots. Gunshots! Over in the lake. Okay, you know what? I never got that quest before. That's a new one. There's a bunch of caches around. So there's a lot of stuff we can do. We don't even have to do the main quest. We can go do some of these side questy things. Um, let's go back to the Forland Musk again. So that tower right there is very, very close to the Aurora Hatch. So, yeah, we'll at least do that in the next episode. And then uh, well, we'll take it from there. I don't know. Sky's the limit. So much to do. So little time. All right. That's it for now. Hope you all enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. And I'm just going to sit right here and warm up my toes. You have no idea what we had to go through to get all this stuff, Jerry. So you better appreciate it. Anyway, have a good day. Bye-bye.